Hi there, everybody. My name is Kimberly Roberts. Um, I'm a second year going into Ohio State, and I'm a computer science major right now. Um, I'm an aspiring video game designer, and that's where I want to go with that. I wanted to play Survivor Time and Change because of there, there's a couple reasons that I wanted to play. Um, the first one is because I've been watching Survivor on TV probably since elementary school. Uh, it's been running since I was born, so um, it's just kind of a show that my family and I could watch on Thursdays or Wednesdays. I think they changed. Uh, but I love the drama, twists and turns at every corner. Um, everything was really exciting to watch. Um, and I've been thinking about like how I would play my version of it. Um, you know, I finally get to in the comfort of my own university. Um, another reason is that I've heard that this is a social experiment or game that can really bring about some really cool friendships. And last semester, the two friends that I had actually transferred. So I'm looking to start some new relationships and um, really find my niche and create my, my little circle. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do here on this show if I don't make everybody hate me. <laughs> my strategy going into this game is to come off as really genuine to people and I want people to be, s I want people to come to me um, to vent. I love having information, I love learning, I like being just kind of an information pack rat. Uh, so I just want to know everything about everybody, everybody's strategies, and I want to know everybody else's gameplay before I can um, fully impl implement my gameplay. Uh, I want to know what people's thought processes are, that way um, I know where they're coming from and maybe I can get an idea of where they're going. I gravitate towards people who kind of step outside of the box of what social confines will let you do. Um, just kind of some weirdos. <laughs> Quiet types. I like spending time around them. Um, getting them out of the shell because they're obvious, they're, um, people who spend a lot of time in their shell probably have things in that shell and those are always super interesting. I think my claim to fame is that I'm pretty good at drawing. Not gonna lie. Uh, mostly cartoons. I'm really inspired by uh, an anime-esque with American cartooning styles. Um, so most of the things, if you tell me to draw something, it's gonna be in that style. My life motto. Uh, my life motto is two words. <laughs> two words. Send it. Go for it. Just go for it. Don't think, of, think about your choices, but don't think about the fear. I think that a lot of things that hold us back is the fear of doing it and then like bungee jumping or skydiving or getting on a roller coaster, something like that. Um, it's the fear up until the point that you do it that holds you back a lot of the time. So if you just send it, don't even s stay in that fear. Um, I think you'll get a lot more done. And you'll feel a lot better. Experience more. That's what I want to do with my life is just um, send it that way I can get the experience. Why will I be Ohio State's sole survivor? Um, I think I'm a woody person. I think I have a lot of personality and I have a lot of things to say to people and um, I know when to keep to myself. Like I don't have to say everything though. Um, there's a lot that goes on here that I think that a lot of people don't know and maybe they won't get to know and I won't give up as long as I've got another trick up my sleeve and there's an abundance of tricks up my sleeve.